To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Yanni, chat options on screen. Next, speak to the jungle forester just south of the village. Choose the fourth, then the first chat option. You will now receive a axe that needs sharpening. Head to the area located here on the map, just west of the Forester. Climb up the ladder and speak to the captain. Choose the first shot option. Next, teleport to Port Sarim and speak to the owner of the axe shop, Brian. Chat options on screen. Next, teleport to Driner Village and speak to the witch Aggie. Got options on screen. Next, head to the ham hideout just east of Lumbridge. Enter the hideout, pick lock. Head south and speak to an NPC called Johannes. Chat options on screen. Head outside of the ham hideout. Cross the river and speak to Fred the farmer. Choose a second chat option. Next, speak to Seth Goats on the opposite side of the river in the other farm. Use a second chat option. Next, head to Varrock 
and speak to the plate body seller, Horvick. Cut options on screen. Next, speak to the apothecary just southwest of Verrock. Use the chat options on screen. Next, head to this building in Barbarian Village. Speak to Tassie. Choose the first chat option. Next, head west and enter the Dwarven Mine. Find an NPC called Hammerspite Stoutbeard. Choose the fourth, then the second chat option. Next, speak to Sanfru, located here on the map. Now, depending if you've completed the Edgar's Ruse quest, here are the chat options on screen. You'll need to make a Guthix Rest. Do this in this specific order. Make your way to White Wolf Mountain. Make sure you've completed the Guthix Rest. Speak to the gnome beside the gnome glider. Choose the second, then the fourth chat option. Make sure to right click as his left click option is not to chat. Next, head to Catherby and speak to Arian. He is the owner of the general shop. Choose the fifth, then the first chat option. Next, 
Next head to Sears Village and enter this building located here on the map. Go ahead and speak to Fontui Fontui Farsight, however you pronounce his name. Chat options on screen. Next, use the Artie Teleport to the farm and head north. You will find a goblin cave. Go ahead and enter. A short cutscene will start. Go ahead and right click and search the sculpture. Teleport once again to the RD slash farm teleport. And head southeast and speak to Wizard Crumpety. Choose a fourth, then a second chat option. Next, head to the merchant in Port Gazard. Choose the second, then the first chat option. You will now have to stuff this mattress he gave you. You will now have to speak to Rance on Philip Hills. This is where you did the big chompy bird hunting quest. It is a long way there so if you have the fairy ring you can use AKS. Chat options on screen. Once you're done speaking to him, head to this air located here on the map. You will now find a runway for the gnome gliders. Speak to the NPC nearby, Normandium. Choose the fourth, then the first chat option. Your task now is to repair the lights along the runway. Go ahead and search the lights, cut the gem, then put it back where you found it. Now in case you destroy some of the gems, this being the topaz, jade, and the opal, then you could speak to him once again and to purchase more gems. Now I'm not sure if the amount of gems you could buy is limited or not, because I know it used to. So hopefully you successfully cut them. If you purchase them and you can't purchase anymore, then you're probably gonna have to purchase them in the GE or something, then come back. Once that's over, speak to him once again and choose the fourth chat option. You'll know if you successfully fix the lights when you get a short cutscene. Now all the favors we've done so far, we'll have to do them again, but in reverse. So if you're prepared, let's go ahead and do this quest in reverse. While we're already in Veldip Hills, head back to Rents. Choose the first chat option. With the mattress full, go back to Port Gazard and speak to the merchant. Choose the second chat option. Now with the iron oxide, head back to Wizard Crumpety in Ardy.
do the fourth chat option. And you will receive an animated rock scroll. Head back into the cave just north of the Manor Farm teleport. Stand next to the sculpture and left click the scroll. A monster will now appear. Simply slay it, then cast the spell scroll once again. With that done, teleport to Seer's village once again and speak to that Seer with a strange name, Fantui, had options on screen. <laughs> 